Is anybody else out there getting really tired of Rockstar's Drug Wars DLC? Yeah, me too. They just keep shoving it in our face. We have several months of first dose, then several weeks of last dose. Well, guess what? That's it. Now I've just overdosed. I know it's very frustrating right now to go from an amazing money-making week with triple money auto shop contracts to this week in GTA where there's really no actual official business money bonus, and so I don't blame you if you feel like taking a week off because this is a good week to do so, but if you are still looking to play the game right now, today I have a very fast money guide on how to make the most of this weekly update. It's really not much at all, but it's not as terrible as one may think, and I know we're all tired of hearing about it, but it's all thanks to the Acid Lab. So let's jump in on how you can actually salvage your sanity and also make lots of money solo this week in GTA Online after Rockstar's poorly received weekly update. If you enjoy this video at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online and Rockstar games, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So let's recap quickly all of our money opportunities. We have double money in RP on every single free mode event and every single free mode challenge this week. Double money in RP on power play, which is an adversary mode, and one and a half times acid lab production speed boost, as well as a 30% discount on your acid lab supplies. Now, if you are a paying GTA Plus member, free mode events are actually quite lucrative this week because you have your triple free mode event bonus stacked on top of this week's double money bonus for your free mode events, meaning you can potentially make up to six times money on free mode events and challenges this week. I just figured I should mention that just in case anyone wasn't aware and they didn't want to miss out on what this it kind of is, is actually an extremely rare opportunity here, but it is GTA Plus, so we're not going to harp on it for much longer. But next up, we have our 50% speed boost in our Acid Lab production, as well as 30% off buying supplies for your Acid Lab. Now, like I said at the start of this video, we have no Acid Lab money bonus on the sale missions, but 50% faster production times, as well as a 30% discount discount on purchasing the supplies itself, that means your per hour profit margins on this business are going to be much, much higher this week. And that's awesome because the Acid Lab is already the best solo player business in the game. Obviously, it doesn't compare to Kyo Perico, for example, but when it comes to any sort of business in this game that involves sell missions, this is the one you always want to be producing and selling in between your other money grinding activities. So when it comes to your Acid Lab expense and revenue breakdown for this week, each full batch of supplies is going to cost you $42,000, and those supply missions provide you with 25% of supplies. And as always, it's better for you to buy supplies, but unfortunately with this business, Business, it does severely eat into your profits and so if you are a newer player in this game who just got this business maybe it actually would be more worth it for you to just do the resupply missions yourself to save some money on the supply costs but after a while I recommend you just buy them just to save the time because as you know in this game time is money but once you're producing, you can boost your acid production once every in real life day to produce your product faster. The product value stays the same with the boost, but the time to produce the acid is actually reduced significantly. And remember, this is already on top of the 50% production speed boost that your acid lab is getting this week too. So now, once your acid lab has reached full stock and honestly just under a couple hours here between the boost and the 50% faster production rates, how about the total value of the acid product that you can sell? Well, if you don't have the equipment upgrade, which is a $750,000 investment, your sale value is going to be $237,600. But if you have the equipment upgrade, which I highly recommend you purchase at some point, your income will be $335,200. And if you want to take a big risk here, you could sell your asset in a full public lobby with 20 plus players to get that full high demand bonus for your sell mission, which will increase your revenue to $502,800. Now, as you can see, you have about a 40% increase in the value of your product when we're comparing acid lab cells compared to if a player has the equipment upgrade or not so hopefully that shows you it's just a reason to get the equipment upgrade because your profit margins are going to be much higher that's basically it for any sort of extra money making you could target this week of course in between Kyle Perico and the acid lab cell missions I strongly suggest you continue with my daily money grinding loop which consists of a few things we have the Kyle Perico we have the buying supplies we have the acid lab cell you do pay phone hit then you get your cargo warehouse tech sourcing done you collect your safe money from the nightclub you do your popularity bouncer mission adjust your DJs, you go to your arcade and get the money from the safe there, resupply your bunker, the MC businesses, you can also manage your nightclub from there, collect money from your agency, 
boost your acid production. You could do your Johan nightclub mission to actually get a nightclub good. You can do your import, export, sell missions and sourcing. If that's a business you like to mess around with, jump back into another payphone hit, etc., etc. Now, I actually haven't made an official guide on what I do to make money in GTA Online as a solo player every single day. I just typically cover these weekly updates to make money making method videos and show you how to best utilize those opportunities that Rockstar has for us. And so if you want to see a hazard official solo money making video, then definitely let me know in those comments as I think it's about time I make one for you guys. But next up, let's quickly discuss power play. This is an adversary mode that's double money and this will be your best bet to make extra money this week in game if you're a low level player or a beginner to GTA Online who doesn't have any single businesses that they own. They have no idea where to start. Maybe that's you. Maybe you feel overwhelmed and you're looking just towards getting those really good purchases that you've heard from other players and YouTubers like the Kasatka and the Nightclub and the Acid Lab. So basically power play is just a normal deathmatch. There's no real learning curve here to this adversary mode, but the only catch here is that the matches only last about five or 10 minutes and there are power ups added to the play area. Some pickups drop at the start of the game, some in the middle, some at the end. Like I said, the matches only last about five to 10 minutes and so they're really fast. And if you're on the winning team, you'll be making $40,000. And if you happen to lose the match, you'll still make $20,000, which no matter what way you look at it, isn't super great for a player who's fully loaded and they have all their businesses to make money with, but this method isn't for them. This is one for those newbies out there who just need some quick cash. And it's much better to do this than just grind contact missions until your brain melts. Now, besides those money-making methods we just discussed, let's talk about a few more ways to make some quick cash here in GTA Online that will only involve about 15 minutes of work. First, we have our time trial this week, which is end to end. It has a part time of four minutes, nine seconds, and you will get $104,000 from completing this time trial. Your RC Bandito time trial this week is Vespucci Beach with a part time of two minutes, five seconds, and you'll get an income of $102,000 payout for this. If you're on next gen, your HSW time trial this week is Terminal with a part time of four minutes and 15 seconds, and you'll be getting $254,000 from that time trial. Now, like I said, this money making event here this week in GT Online is really just not that good at all because there's no official business that has an actual money bonus, but just taking advantage of the discounted supplies on the Acid Lab as well as the increased production rates and the speed boost, well, you definitely can make some extra money here with this because you're going to be able to do more sell missions. And so hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask many questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.